Hi everybody, I'm Eulenherr and um, when I'm grow up, when I'm grown up, I'm going to be a mind security expert, I guess. Because what I'm interested in is uh, mind hacking, how our minds can be hacked, how they are vulnerable to hacks, what attacks can be uh, carried out on minds and what can be done on this. So this is about hacking minds, um, not computers, because somehow minds are like computers, you know. Um, you know this and what's like a computer can be hacked actually and we can hack things. We can find out where they're vulnerable and I'm telling you a little story on this. Um, I'm telling you a story uh, from Dan Dennett um, about ants and there's this ant which walks up a blade of grass and it's, uh, it walks up and it falls down and it walks up again, it falls down again and what's in it for the ant? Why does it do this? Why would it walk up? that way. Well, actually, um, it's not an ant, it's an SUV for a parasite that's nested in the ant's brain and drives it up um, the blade of grass. Um, and it's not the ant that's controlling this. And the question is, of course, can this happen to humans as well? Can this happen to us? How can this happen to us? And of course, it's not the parasite in this case of humans, it's ideas that hack us. And I really don't like to be an SUV for an idea that I'm not aware of. And I really don't like to be hacked um, and not aware of it. I don't want to be driven in a wall by some idea um, just because I don't know it, I'm just because I was hacked, of course. And, and if you and I ever participated in a shouting match where it was more important to win than to convince, that happened to you? I guess it did, because um, this is how we sometimes do discussions. And the, the problem with this is, of course, um, you don't convince people of your point of view by telling them that they're wrong. You um, never attack a system where the um, other side expects you to attack. You have to do something else to, to hack somebody. You have to go inside. You have to understand them. and get inside the system and then you can hack it. That's how you do a hack. You don't attack where it's expected. And um, the problem, of course, is that when we are in a discussion, um, the other side um, doesn't see itself as being wrong. Nobody sees an idiot in the mirror. Nobody sees somebody in the mirror that is wrong. Nobody sees himself that way. So. If we want to hack people, if we want to convince people, um, we need to do something else. We need to do um, more than just telling them. Some people should see an idiot in the mirror, I think. And um, how do we do that? Now, we, we don't do that by telling them they're an idiot because then we're building enemy lines and we have the, the point of view of an enemy towards us and we can't do anything. So. Um, we have to do it another way. We have to hack them like a hacker does in a real um, attack scenario. We, we have to do it right. We have to find the vulnerability uh, and do it that way. And this is a big question because it's not easy, of course, to hack people because a brain is much more complex um, than a normal computer because it's a black box. We have some inputs. The brain has a state that we don't know and uh, some outputs but we don't really know what happens in between. And where, it, where would you turn um, to find out more about this black box? And this is what we like to do. We turn to science, of course, um, because there are many scientists who manipulate inputs towards brains and figure out what's happening and figure out what's, um, what outputs come out on the other side. Um, and science is the place to go. There's a lot out there but um, the problem is it looks like this. Um, it's, it's more like um, books and publications and it's not easily accessible to us to find out how are we vulnerable, what attack scenarios are possible, what hacks are possible. And we don't like this actually. Um, so we started this project, um, mindhacking.org, and we want to build a site. We want to build a website that easily and accessibly um, provides people with the vulnerabilities of their minds and um, how the minds can be attacked and how they can protect themselves against them. And of course, we want to play, we want to hack people. Um, 
So this is a call for, call for participation. Um, we are two at the moment, um, two of us, and we'd like to have many more of you because all of you in this room here are much more, you know much more than the two of us do, and we'd like you to participate in this. So we need two kinds of people um, to help us out. We need um, researchers. We need people who um, help us go through this scientific material, figure out what hacks are in there, get them out, and provide them in an accessible manner for people on our website, and aggregate the information in a way um, that actually helps us to understand it easier and understand the vulnerabilities that actually are there. And of course, we need developers. We need to make the site in a way that is accessible to people, that is simple to use, and an interface um, that is simple to use for people so they can actually um, be informed that way. Because we believe that um, in educating people about the vulnerabilities of our minds and how they can be hacked, um, we can inoculate them against that and we can give control over um, our ideas a little bit back um, to people. We want not to become SUVs, we want to be in control ourselves, what we like to do. And um, with this, I'm, I'm leaving you here. Um, you can reach us at mindhacking.org. I'm Eulenha on Twitter, and this right here is uh, Mortu, who will, will be at the conference, and, well, thanks. <laughs>